today, I'll be showing you guys eight brand new secrets found in the recent Brookhaven RP updates. Before we start, though, leave a comment down below and tell me an update you want to see added to Brookhaven to be featured in an upcoming vid. And now, enjoy the video. Welcome back to another video, guys. I hope you are all having a fantastic day, just like me. Today is pretty exciting because, as you guys know, recently there's been a lot of updates in Brookhaven RP, and I haven't been on my secret game that much, but thanks to your guys' help in the comments down below, I've been able to find quite a few secrets that I am personally very excited to show you guys if you haven't seen them already. So first things first, I guess let's go ahead and get started with our first secret that we are going to head over to the Brookhaven Apartments for. And we're going to go all the way upstairs past the luxury apartment to the penthouse apartment because recently there was a brand new penthouse apartment added. And I don't know about you guys, but I think this might be my favorite penthouse apartment so far. Oh, I already own a house. We're just gonna get rid of that really quickly. So I can go ahead and get this premium fancy penthouse apartment. And fantastic! This thing is all loaded in, and as you guys can see, we are inside this beautiful penthouse apartment, which I am I'm just such a big fan of it. Look at how cool this fountain is. It's just so cool. And it's also the same one down there. So part of me just feels like there's a secret around this, but so far I haven't been able to find anything. But that doesn't mean that there are no secrets in this apartment. There are actually a couple that mm -hmm. I didn't know about, but now I do. And the main one being is the safe. I don't know why it didn't hit me that there was a hidden safe in this penthouse apartment because I didn't realize and I didn't see it before but there is a hidden safe in here and I will show you guys how to find it basically you're going to make your way upstairs into this little bookshelf area and just go straight back and you guys might notice that we can click this wall we can't click over here but we can definitely click right here and if we do so a door opens up. Thank you for everybody who commented this down in the comments of my last video covering this update. And as you guys can see, this is where our wonderful safe is with all of our money. <laughs> and this one's super hidden and super safe. So yeah, I, I, I like this location a lot. I don't know. Can you not see it through the pool? Let me double check this because maybe maybe you can't but i don't know how i would have missed it if it was shown through the pool because a lot of things were shown through the pool but oh it totally is how did i miss that that was right there wow yep so it's definitely there i guess you could probably glitch into there too with the sleeping bag right down here if you wanted can you place sleeping bags underwater i don't know but anyways we're gonna move on to our next secret which i believe we actually have to come over here for me to show it to you guys basically come over here to this little like sitting area and uh we're actually not going to relax in these lovely little chairs no sorry we are going to jump into this kind of like white rectangle right here so oh and i totally i really i missed that so bad wow all right so i jumped into the wrong area i guess you have to jump on this end into the uh, square there we go and now you guys may notice we are kind of in like a tunnel or vent i guess above the apartment building and we can walk almost completely around there's like a weird it almost looks like a button. I guess it's probably just a piece of wall or something. I don't know. That's kind of suspicious looking. Um, but we can walk all the way around, all the way over here, and all the way over here. And this is such a good spot to, like, either play hide and seek or spy on your friends if they were here at your apartment or something. Definitely going to be using that in the future. And uh, that's secret number two. And I think that's all the secrets that I wanted to cover at the penthouse apartment. But like I always say, if there are any more here that you guys know of, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I don't think there were any more that I remember personally. I think that's it. But uh, I could always be missing them. So yeah, 
definitely let me know in the comments below. But for now, we're going to head to our next location so I can show you guys even more secrets. All right, I know this town hall update is kind of old news, but I still personally wanted to cover it for you guys. So that's what I'm going to be doing because there's some really creepy and cool secrets hidden in the town hall. But I'm also going to be showing you guys even more after. So if you have seen all the town hall secrets, then be sure to stick around because I got more coming. So first things first, I don't think there's anything down here on the main floor. I think it's up here on the top floor where all of the secrets lie because this is where the mayor's office is. <laughs> and typically, mayors wouldn't really be evil, but I don't know. I just have a feeling about Brookhaven's mayor. I feel like they just, it can't be up to good, you know? They have to be up to something. So first things first, you might notice something's a little suspicious in this office, meaning there's a like big, you know, sign thing here. And then there's just an empty frame, which has been more common in Brookhaven lately, but I think there is a reason. And there's definitely a reason for this empty frame. And that is because if you come out here and you turn the lights off, a hidden message is displayed. So it says special thanks to avid exclamation point 12, Hannah Montana, JB, Fizzy Pine, Chloe678, Miley, Whitney, Christine, and Gavin. And I don't know exactly who those people are, but I imagine they play a part in some sort of development for the Brookhaven RP Roblox scheme, whether they be developers or artists or, you know, what have you. Those are definitely people that uh, I guess we should be giving special thanks to. So shout out to those guys for whatever part they play in uh, the creation of Brookhaven RP because obviously it's, it's a pretty great game and we all love it. So... <laughs> Shout out to you guys. And our next secret also lies in this office here. If we go ahead and take a seat at this little desk area, look how official we look. Man, I could be the mayor of Brookhaven. I, I think all I have to do is actually click that picture and I would be. But regardless, our next secret is actually lying under the desk of the mayor. As you guys can see, here is a red button. And now I asked in a video prior, but I'm going to ask you guys again. Um, What does this button do? Because I personally haven't been able to figure it out. Obviously, I can't click it or anything, so I don't really know. Does it does it have a purpose? Do I have to trigger uh, uh, something else in order for the button to do something? This is kind of an old secret also because that button was under the mayor's desk when it wasn't at the town hall and when it was at the other place across from Club Brooks. I don't even know what it did back then, if I'm honest, but <laughs> that's besides the point because we have more secrets to cover, and this is the last one that we are going to be talking about that is in the town hall and that is behind me there's actually a secret area but in order to access it we have to tilt our camera just like this and you guys will probably notice this secret button that we can go ahead and press and it gives us access to this ladder right here so let's go up that and then jump backwards and as you guys can see we are in an entirely new secret area and there's kind of some weird stuff up here from being honest stuff that really hasn't been shown in brick even before we have these boxes and what's inside it's money yes guys there is a whole bunch of money and it's being printed up here by who i don't really know but uh someone's definitely up to something and i'm not exactly sure if it's legal or not if i'm being honest but yes we have a money printer up here there's this weird pipe thing we have a big box over here and uh, a table and a chair so i don't know if the mayor is behind this or mr brooke even is behind this it's basically a big secret as far as i'm concerned so let me know your guys's theories down in the comments below and now let's head to the last location for the last of our secrets all right, we're gonna go over to vacant lot number 11 and get ourselves a house and very specifically We are going to get the new RP set house, which is the daycare kind of I guess place But we have a daycare place, but this is like specifically a daycare house So if you want to have a job as a daycare attendant where it's out of your house Then this is the place for you now I found one of the secrets here before which I will go ahead and start off by showing you guys if you go into the kitchen and I guess on top of the fridge and you ah, I failed so bad okay, there, there. Why am I why am I so bad right now? Here we go <laughs> If you go on top of the fridge, there's like a secret room with a secret stash of candy We have a 
Reese's bar and milk chocolate or Hershey's milk chocolate rather. And yeah, this is just like a secret, I guess, kid area where you can hide and eat your candy in peace. <laughs> but there's also something else up here that um, I've been trying to figure out more about and that is the secret like tape thing because clearly it doesn't have a code on it, but it's definitely a secret tape that we've seen in the past. So actually what I kind of want to do right now that I haven't done yet is take a sleeping bag and see if the code is underneath because maybe that's the case and that's why I haven't been able to see it. But no, actually it looks like it's a pipe or something that's going through this wall and not a tape at all. But I don't know, that's definitely the shape of the tape. So I'm confused. I don't know why that could be there, but uh, yeah. Let me know your guys' theories about that in the comments down below, as always. And continuing on, same with the penthouse apartment. Um, I didn't really look for a safe in this house, and I don't know what was going on with me. I don't know why I didn't think that there could be a safe here, but there is. And uh, thanks to you guys for telling me about it in the comments of one of my videos. And now I'm going to show the rest of you about it. So obviously we have all this playground equipment over here, and that is actually where the secret safe is. Is. So what you're going to want to do, it'd probably be better if you were kid size, but I am not currently. Um, we are under all the playground equipment and right here in this area is where you're going to want to head. If you just walk into this corner right here, it will drop you down into a secret area with checkerboard floor. And as you guys can see, here is the safe. And that's not all where it ends. I guess you can like pop up here and see some other things. I've been trying to see if there's any hidden videotapes here or anything else, but I haven't been able to find anything. But I definitely think you can do that for a reason. So let me know your thoughts and theories about that in the comments below. And yeah, that's where the uh, secret safe is hidden. <laughs> and the last thing that I wanted to show you guys in this video was kind of a reiteration of when I checked out this update the first time. And that's all the cool baby stuff that we can do now that I totally didn't even activate because I don't have this up. House furniture for children. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and thumbs that up so everything will be spawned in. And if we look around now, we have a whole bunch of different baby stuff. We have different baby cribs where we can add two not even one, but two babies. There's like a changing table here. There's a little play mat. There's a high chair, which I really love. This is so stinking cute. I don't think you can put two babies in here at once. Let's try it. Now it just changes it to one or the other. There's more cribs where you can add your babies and they all have like different like locations where they lay down, which is really cool. One of my favorites is you can actually give your babies a bath. Look, it fills with water and you're just in here now. Oh, there's also this cool little toilet seat that you can put on your toilet for the kids to be able to use the toilet. Another play pen. And then up here, we just have another crib, a changing table. And I think that's just about it. Yes, from the looks of it, that is it. And I think that is also it for this video as well. But I really hope you guys enjoyed it. That was all the recent secrets that have been shown in Brookhaven RP, or at the very least, all the recent secrets that have been discovered. But if you guys know of any more, as I always say, definitely let me know in the comments down below and uh, maybe I'll show them in an upcoming video. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn those post notifications on. You guys know what to do. And with all that being said, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night, depending on what time it is, where you are, where you're watching this. If it's past your bedtime, go to bed. And yeah, I will see you guys all again tomorrow in my next video. Bye.